today. Hey, Lincoln Lancers. Today is a yellow day. If today's your B day, we wish you a happy birthday. And the word of the day is car. Did you know that the first car was made in 1886, January 29th? I never knew that. Did you know that the Toyota Corolla is the world's most loved car? Wow. On with the, the show. show. You were Hi, Lancers. Today I'm here with Mr. A for Mindful Minute. Mr. A, why don't you get us started off? Awesome. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes school can be stressful, middle school especially, so we want to make sure that we're taking a minute to regulate. Uh, one of the easiest ways to do it um, is what I call ocean breathing. And for ocean breathing, we're just going to imagine that we're just sitting on the beach for a minute or two, and we kind of just put our, ha our hands over our face and our eyes so we can really imagine being on the beach and breathing in when the waves come in and breathing out when the waves go out. And just give yourself a little mi mini vacation and listen to the birds okay. and the waves. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. All right, how did that feel? That felt good. Did you hear the birds? I did. Could you feel the sand under your toes? Yes. I know, we need to get back to the ocean. All right. What's up, Ling and Lanters? I'm Elijah. And I'm Carmen. And we're here with sports. On Tuesday for football, we fought hard and came out with victory against CLP. And for soccer against Wellington, we had one. Also for boys tennis, we had one. On Wednesday for girls tennis, it was a tie. For volleyball against both, both seed team, varsity, and JV had one. And yesterday there was a boys tennis and boys soccer, but at our current recording time, there is no score. And today there is another boys tennis match. Bye, Lancers. Bye. What's up, Lincoln Lancers? I'm Maya. And I'm Elise. Hey, Elise. I have a question for you. Yeah, what's up? What's engineering and brightness? I heard a lot about it. Well, I don't really know. Why don't we go find out? All right. Hey, guys, I'm here with Mrs. Whiny. Miss Whiny, what is engineering and brightness? Engineering and brightness is a group of people from all over the world who work together to provide handheld solar panel 3D printed lanterns. Okay. What are you guys going to be doing on the field trip? Ooh, good question. On the field trip, we are working with a company called Otterbox, the group that designs all your phone cases and cool things, and they are celebrating their 15th year of their philanthropic branch called Otter Cares, and they've worked with Engineering Brightness for the past 13 years, and we're really honored as a group to be spotlighted out of hundreds of organizations they've worked with. They've chosen just two, and Evie is one of them. Um, so we are going to be lighting up the world for 600 OtterBox employees. And lastly, what's your favorite thing about it? Oh, I love um, solving or at least impacting a real world problem. So kids all over the world, 14 different countries. Right now we're working with um, Liberia and Nicaragua and Guatemala. But kids are really making a difference today by making these lanterns and learning about the cultures in those other places. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Wow. What's up, Ling Lancers? I'm with Griffin. Okay, so we want to ask you some questions about engineering and brightness. Cool. Okay, so what is engineering and brightness? Engineering and brightness is an elective class you can take uh, in Lincoln where you make lanterns for people who don't have definite access to light. Like you get to solder the circuits, put them together, even maybe work on the new design for the lanterns, and it's just really fun overall. That sounds really fun. Okay, so what's your favorite thing about engineering brightness? Uh, my favorite part is when we got to do a video chat with the people we were sending the lanterns to. It was really great to get to know the, those people, and uh, they're really nice. All right, so do you have anything to say to the people that are going to be in engineering brightness next uh, it's year? It's a really fun class. You get to do so much. There's lots of like work, but it's really fun. And I ended up really enjoying it. 
Hello Lincoln Lancers, this is your Student Council Vice President, Cannon Garner. I am here to talk to you about the early opening of the Student Store on Yellow Days. If you want to take advantage of this time, you need to use your student-initiated passes in your planner. This means that to go to the store, you need to have a teacher sign the pass that you use for the bathroom or to go on walks, right here. Okay? Thank you, Lincoln Lancers, and lead the Lancer way. That's the definition for what it means to be Sigma. Our are you serious? Again, girls, you know what the consequence is. Mr. Berger, that's so stupid. I'm not even going to do that. I'm sorry. No. I got to be fair. Same for I'm everybody. Not, I'm not doing that. All right. Who's calling first? Me. All right. Here you go, Karma. Hi, Mama. I'm calling to let you know that I'm struggling to get to Mr. Berger's class on time. I hope this conversation will help me be more responsible. So you get a date by buying them dinner, but you keep a date by making the girls. Excuse me, I'm uh, I'm trying to teach right now. Please. Sorry, Mr. Bruce. Thank you. I appreciate that, Karma. Okay. So, like I was saying, you keep a date by making them dinner. Y'all get that? Look. Girls, this is the second time I've had to ask. You're making it really difficult for me to teach right but now. We're not even doing anything. I know that I'm turn I'm seeing you turn your shoulders and have a side conversation no. while I'm trying to teach. You were talking to him. You didn't see anything. Yeah, but your actions are distracting those around you and making it harder for us to focus on what we need to do in class. Do we need to have this conversation out in the hall? No, thank you. And I'm Eli, and, and this, this is the top, top 10 reasons, reasons on why you should join a sports team. Number 10, it's a great way to get into shape. Number 9, it's something to do for fun. Number 8, you can make new friends when playing. Number 7, it's really fun to play in the games. Number 6, it can help with your hand-eye coordination. It's also a fun way for entertainment. No, number 4, you can work on your teamwork. Number 3, it can teach you discipline. Number 2, it can boost your energy. And finally, number one, you can represent Lincoln as a school. See you, Lancers. Bye. Hey, Lancers, I'm Griffin, here to tell you why you should buy your yearbooks. One, buying a yearbook gives the school more money to buy things for classes. Two, if you participated in sports, you might see yourself in the sports division. And if you're in a club, Maybe you'll be there too. And three, buying a yearbook can bring back so many memories. Like, yeah, that. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back. back. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Have a good day and make sure to lead the Lancer way. I'm out of coffee. I'm out of coffee.